while you're in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. Give your brother here, watch what the Bible says. I hear you, but it's not more important than this. Because do you believe in God? Do you realize that one day your spirit is going to dwell somewhere for eternity? Whether in eternal torment or eternal life in the kingdom with your brother. That's not a game. Because you could brush this off, but best believe that day that you die, you're going to wake up to a judgment that you cannot escape. The thing that's happening right now is we're trying to give you a way to escape that. That's why we changed and we come out these places too. But it was a reason that we took the steps to get these fringes on because we understand the fear. Most time in Christ bless. What's your name, bro? Francisco. Hey, brother, right here. What's your name? Who? Jimmy. 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 What's your name, bro? My name is Lee. Nickname. Some people call me Paul. Okay, so we got Lee, Jimmy, Francisco. It means peace. It may peace be upon you. Hey, Zeb. What's your sister name right here? What's your name, sir? Who? G. Hey, um. Lee. 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 Bear with me, because what we out here to do is to wake our people up and show our people who we are. Can I ask you a question? What's your nationality? Mexican. Mexican. You see him as your brother? No. Yeah. You, you see uh, Lee as your brother? Yeah. You want to know, hey, you see him as your brother? You want to know what one of the main problems is within our community? We don't see each other as family. So the thing that we out here to try to do is return that love to our people. What, watch this. Give me Matthew 24 12. I was watching some earlier, hey, hey sister, can I ask you a question? I want you to answer this as well. Is it normal in our communities to have baby mom, baby mamas and baby daddies? We know. Uh, you say it's not normal? The thing is, it's not normal as a human, but it's normal within our community. Bring it out. Because a lot of people, I watched the interview with a sister that had six kids, four different baby daddies, and everybody went past that as if it was normal. Read this scripture real quick. I want to show you dealing with those two things. Why is this? Stay with us. We, we out here to build. My, hey, sis, check this out. Everybody like to say the black man ain't ish. All we do is tear stuff up. So why is it when we have black men to come out here to try to build the community up, we can't get no support from our people? Bring it out. The whole world like to tear the black man down, the Asian man, the Chinese man, and the Hispanic man. Everybody like to kick us, beat us down. But when we got men that want to stand up on their feet to bring forth change, nobody want to listen. Bring but everybody it got something to say about us. Bring you know why it is like that? Watch this. So this is why we don't see each other as brothers. This is why so many baby mamas and baby daddies within our communities, it's not normal to be like that. Watch this. The book of Matthew, chapter 24, and verse 12. Uh -huh. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. I'll read that again from the top. Don't leave, sis, this is for you. And because iniquity shall abound. The Bible says because iniquity, hey bro, where you going? This is what I mean. Why, why is it as soon as the Bible come out, nobody want to hear it? We literally trying to save your soul, bro. This is about eternal life or eternal death. Y'all got to understand the seriousness of what's going on right now. Um, hey, bro, just give us a few minutes and hear what we talking about. Give your brother an ear. Give your brother an ear. Watch what the Bible says. I hear you, but it's not more important than this. Because do you believe in God? Do you realize that one day your spirit is going to dwell somewhere for eternity? Whether in eternal torment or eternal life in the kingdom with your brother. That's not a game. Because you could brush this off, but best believe that day that you die, you're going to wake up to a judgment that you cannot escape. The thing that's happening right now is we're trying to give you a way to escape that. That's why we changed and we come out these places too. But it was a reason that we took the steps to get these fringes on because we understand the fear. Francisco, this is for you too. Watch what the Bible says. The book of Matthew, chapter 24, and verse 12. Uh -huh. And because iniquity shall abound. Hey, bro, what's your name again? Jimmy. Francisco, what does iniquity mean? I'm asking both of y'all. Iniquity. Uh, not equal. You don't know? Not equal? Hey, uh, Lee, what does iniquity mean? Iniquity? Yeah. Iniquity, uh, what? Uh, Three letter word. It means sin. It means sin. Iniquity means sin. So God says what? 
And because iniquity shall abound. So because iniquity is found all throughout our community or sin is found all throughout our community, read, the love of many shall wax cold. It says the love of many shall wax cold. That's why it's normal in our community for 14 and 15 year olds to have bodies, to have committed murder. Murder is a heavy burden to do in a place to put somebody. Kids are being forced to do these things. They call them young sicarios. They call them drillers or killers. This is the norm in our community, bro. It's it not out. supposed to be like that. Exactly, exactly. We want to be soldiers and infantry and armies as babies. Why is it like that? Read it again. Because the love of, excuse me, and because iniquity shall abide. Don't roll the window down, come build with us. The Bible says because sin is found all throughout the community, watch this. The love of many shall wax cold. That's why it's no love amongst us. Amos chapter 5 verse 10. That's why it's no love found amongst us. It should not be one black brother or one black sister struggling on these streets in 2023. You know why? Because we have billionaires amongst blacks and Hispanics. Right. Once upon a time, blacks and Hispanics used to be one big great nation. We were brothers, we were sisters, we were family. But guess what? Because of sin, now we out here struggling. Now bro, oh, asking another brother for some spare change. It's not supposed to be like that. We're supposed to be coming together to, it, 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 to come on bro, we out here by selling cigarettes and buying while the word coming out. When you giving a poison, it's supposed to be the family. Right. You realize what you're doing to bro lungs right now? That ain't love. Re go back to Matthew 24 and 12. Watch this. Watch this, bro. We got to be honest with each other. Because check this out. If you, you just said that that's your brother, right? I don't want I don't want nothing bad for you. Let me ask you a question. You just said this is your brother, right? I understand that. But the thing is, hold on, read this. The book of Matthew, chapter 24 and verse 12. My sister, come around here, come build with us. And because iniquity shall abound. The Bible says because iniquity shall abound. Hey, bro, check this out. What we are here to do is bring solutions to change our community. Because it's not normal that we got babies being gunned down, bro. And nobody care, give a damn about it. And it's not just happening in amongst the blacks. It's happening amongst our brothers and Hispanics as well. We got to bring forth change. We got to do something, bro. Read it. And because iniquity shall abound. The Bible says because sin. Jimmy, you with me? The Bible says because sin is found amongst the Israelites if you look on this sign that's the so-called blacks Hispanics and Native Americans when you go back in history we were once a great nation when we loved each other but because sin was all throughout our community read the love of many shall wax cold love wax cold amongst us that's why it's so easy for us to persecute each other. That's why it's so easy for us to turn on each other. That's why we don't see it as nothing bad when we see a poison on one another. We, we supposed to be doing this. Go to Amos chapter 5 verse 10. Hey bro, the Bible coming out. The book of Amos chapter 5 and verse 10. Read. They hate him that rebuke it in the gate. They do what? They hate him that rebuke it in the gate. Hey Jimmy. Jimmy, check this out. Watch what the Bible say, read. They hate him. What's your name, bro? Who? Brother Yah? Watch what the Bible said. Because what we are here to do is show our people, we the Israelites. We are the real Jews. We ain't Jew-ish. We are the sons of the living God. The one true God is who is our father. He created us to be a special people, but we turned against him and, and chose to follow idols. So what we were doing is we're turning that love amongst our people, bro. Somebody got to start caring about what's going on. Right. How is it that we go to sleep at night knowing that our people out here dying? Right. The thing that you see us brothers in purple doing is we gave it them. We cared enough to try to do something about it. But when we try to do something, watch what happens. Read. They hate him. They rebuke it in the gate. Our people hate us for doing this thing. Our people hate us for coming out here to try to wake the greatest people up on earth. You a prince to the most high God. That's a princess to the most high God. We are a great people, but we got to start conducting ourselves and moving accordingly. This is why the world look at us as a joke. Everybody clown us. Everybody laugh at us. Hey. What is nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is 